Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is my deck collection. Hey, today we're gonna to look at all the decks I have from Illusionist. Now, again, this is all the decks I have in my collection. Of course, I have duplicates of many decks, but I'm not here to show you my duplicates. That's just, you know, overboard. I just wanna show you the decks, the single individual decks I have in my collection. Probably one time I'll, I'll go and show you uh, duplicates, show you my personal stash, but just for now, this is just my collection. All right, ready, let's go. First up, Inverted Kings from Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon. This is a white tuck box, but inside it is actually a black deck. Next up, the Black Artifice. This was a hard to find deck for quite a while, but recently Illusionist had a sale and so I was able to pick one up. That also brings me to the Gold Artifice, which was also uh, one of those hard to find decks. And uh, I'm glad I was able to add this to my collection as well. Red Arcane, uh, designed by Lee McKenzie. Uh, Lee is an awesome uh, graphic artist, and so this is a wonderful addition to the Illusionist series. And the purple LTDs from Peter McKinnon. It's a very simplified deck, um, very classy. And Peter McKinnon's blue LTDs. I did a review for this a while back, and I'm looking forward to reviewing purple. One of the more newer decks, the Bumblebee deck from Oban Jones and Daniel Madison. And with that, the Killer Bee deck from Oban Jones and Daniel Madison. Madison Gamblers, this is a gaff deck. So inside this uh, are the gaffs you need to do uh, the tricks that accompany the DVD set. And also Ultra Gaff from Daniel Garcia and Wayne Houchin. This is another gaff deck that accompanied a DVD set. This one is the plain uh, gaff deck that Illusionist released uh, a long time ago. Uh, it was available in both red and blue. And the last of the gaff decks is the Artifice gaff deck that was released through the gaff system. Next up, we have the Red Master Edition. This was a bicycle um, rebranding done on a thicker cardstock. Black Shadow Masters. Uh, a while back, Illusionist did a whole series of black decks, and this was one of them. The White Arcanes. This was my favorite of all the Arcane releases. Next up, we have Ignite. These were playing cards that were inspired by fire. Fathom. These were uh, playing cards that were inspired by water. Part of the Prohibition series, this is the second version of Absinthe that was later released as an individual deck. Also part of the Prohibition series, 52 Proof. Uh, I picked this up when they were released individually. There are a lot of uh, Artifice colors out there. I don't have that many. I do have green and I do have blue. Artifice Tundra, another one of the colors I have. It's a white deck, so uh, this is the deck I like more than the other colors. Also, I have the Ghost series. I have both the Black Ghost and the White Ghost. Peter McKinnon's first deck release, Republic, which was another really simple, very beautiful deck. Adam Wilbur's new deck, Keeper, uh, also designed by Oban Jones. Another old classic deck, the Tally Ho Viper cards that were done with the classic Tally Ho look, but in silver and black. The original red 1800s, this was a deck that was a bicycle deck, but then made to look distressed. And then the blue 1800s that were later released as a marked deck. And then the classic that started it all, Black Tiger. Uh, when Illusionist first released this, it was done so as a rider back that had inverted colors. So it was black uh, and white, but it done in kind of like a negative aspect. Not many people had seen a custom deck before, uh, and so this was pretty off the charts, and uh, this probably was the deck that started it all. All right, so there you have it. That's my Illusionist collection. Did I show your favorite deck, or did I not? What is your favorite Illusionist deck? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, if you'd like to purchase any of these decks, you can find them at illusionist.com. Thanks, bye.